This is the four in hand. Uh, you start with the narrow part of the tie on the left and the wider part of the tie on the right. Uh, bring the wide part over the narrow part and around the back so that it reappears on the right. Put your index finger and your middle finger of your left hand in front of the knot to keep the space. Bring the broad part across again so that it's on the left. And at this point you bring it up and under so that it comes out from the back on the top of the knot. In this loop that you've kept by your fingers of your left hand, bring the front part of the tie in there, down, out through the bottom, and that gives you your knot, at which point you simply readjust it and bring it up to the neck. And the uh, tip of the belt, uh, the tie will then be on top of the buckle so that it's the correct length. This is the half Windsor knot. We start with the narrow part of the tie on the left, the broad part of the tie on the right. Bring the broad part of the tie across the front of the narrow part to the left, around the back, so that it ends up back on the right hand side. With your right hand, you bring the broad part of the tie in the top of the knot and down through the bottom. And again, the broad part of the tie is on the right hand side uh, with the seam facing forwards. Bring it across here to give you a triangular shape, up underneath the bottom, out the top, and here you should have triangular shape formed by this band. Now you can bring the front of the tie down through the top, and that is your half Windsor. You can adjust it upwards, make sure that you get the right size and shape tie. If it's a correct length it should fall to the center of the belt buckle and you can just So this is the uh, full Windsor knot starting with uh, the narrow part of the tie on the left as usual and the broader part of the tie on the right. Bring the broad part of the tie around the narrow part in front Bring it up underneath the back and out the top and down on the right hand side. Then you bring it around the back and again we go around the back but this time we come in the top and out the bottom. Then you will see that the seam of the tie is pointing forwards and is on the left hand side. Bring it across to the right, around the back up underneath and up the top, giving you the triangular shape of the tie. Then uh, bring the uh, broad part of the tie down front. So when you bring the tie up, put your finger here to create the dimple, and uh, there's your full Windsor.